Hi investors, traders and friends, welcome to Nepi Invest. In this video I'm going to be focusing on companies whose share price is breaking out. It's one of my favorite things to search for each and every trading day and there can be many reasons why a company's share price could be breaking out. One of my favorite reasons is a profit upgrade, those really positive announcements where you can see quite significant share price appreciation in a company's share price. Other range, reasons range from just uh, increasing positive sentiment around a company. And right now, in this time of year, we are starting to see half yearly and yearly reports being released. And when those reports or the uh, financials of the company beat expectations of the market, we can see some positive price reaction and uh, a breaking out in the share price. And I'll give you some examples in this video of that. In this video also, I'll be showing you a very unusual example of a company's share price breaking out, and that's simply because of the ticket code behind that company. So very unusual, and you understand the reasons behind that when I get to that company. So let's start with the first company. So the first company I'll be looking at is Sky Network Television. This is a cable TV provider in New Zealand and I've provided here a chart that goes back to 2012. So this is a weekly chart and you can see the share price back in 2014 was as high as $3.50 and ever since that peak the share price is going backwards. And there's a very simple reason behind that is just the uh, sentiment in this sort of business is it is dying. There's no point in buying this sort of business because eventually those streaming services ooh, will overwhelm it. Netflix, Disney, those sort of streaming services are kind of make this sort of company void and pointless. But there has been some thought recently that the amount of choices within the streaming services is overwhelming people. And people are just saying, well, there's just too many choices to make. I'm going to go back to cable TV. I'm not sure if that's happening, but there is some thought that that maybe is beginning to happen right now. And when you look at uh, the numbers of Sky here, a market cap of 297 million with revenue of 706 and operating cash flow of 148. Now, when I see operating cash flow of 148 million and a market cap of 297, so it's only two times operating cash flow, that is screaming out cheap. So even if it's a, a dying business, uh, there is potential here of some value. So here is the six month daily chart of Sky and we've definitely seen a bit of a shift in the sentiment over the last three or four months. And that has led to a shift in or change in the trend in the share price. And that has really played out three days ago when the company released an announcement to the market. And I'll get into that announcement in the next slide. But we can definitely see a rise in the share price on the, the release of that announcement and that also coincided with a very large increase in volume. So the market got excited about this announcement and that has led to the potential breakout in the share price. So this is the announcement uh, that Sky released to the market. It was just increasing guidance. So this is a profit upgrade. And I was telling you before, this is my favorite sort of announcement to the market when a company can increase their profits and that's why the market reacted quite positively. Now some of the reasons why they're increasing profits is one-off cost savings and ongoing cost control. So those two things I don't really like but the improvement in satellite and streaming services I definitely do like. So you can see the revenue has been revised to between 695 and 715. So you can see the previous year the revenue was 706. So it's actually could potentially revenue increase from the previous year and that would be fairly positive. EBITDA and net profit after tax are both positive. Previous year they're both negative. So we are seeing a potential turnaround in the business but whether this can be a long-term turnaround is probably the big question. At least it's a medium term turnaround and we might see a bit of a run in the share price over the say in the next three to six months, potentially even longer. So this is a definitely potential buy based off the breakout we saw a few days ago. The next company I'll be looking at is Credit Corp. So I almost made an acquisition of this company back in November when the share price was around 22 cents. Now, I do have a motto, don't regret any decisions you make or don't make. You can learn from those decisions you don't or do make, but don't regret them then because that could lead to some bad decision making in the future. But this is a classic case of a company having a few breakouts in the share price over a period of time. So we've got three here. The first one was in November. The second one was on Christmas Eve when they make an acquisition of some credit collection house 
uh, badges. And then on the release of the half year results on the 2nd of February, we also saw the share price break out then. So a classic looking uh, chart here of a company's share price breaking out. So this is sort of uh, a chart you should look at, learn from, and then maybe uh, use for decision making in the future. So the next company I'm looking at is News Corp. And I'll be honest with you, I don't, really, I haven't really spent much time looking at this company, analyzing what they do, that sort of thing. And the only reason I'm looking at this company now is because the market really reacted positively to the half yearly results that they released. I think it was on the last trading day of last week's trading. So the share price finished at $28.41, which is the all-time high for this company company. So why did the market react really positively to their results? Let's have a look at it. So what they've done here, I've just taken a bit of a snippet from their report, is they've broken down the revenues and the EBITDA in segments. And you can have a look at which segments of the company are doing really well and which segments are doing poorly. And it wouldn't surprise you to know that the news media section is doing poorly. In fact, the revenue went from 811 million to 573 million. But thankfully, this is a low profit uh, segment of the business and other segments of the business which are much higher profit margins, for instance, digital real estate services. So they do own a portion of realestate.com. So that segment's doing really well. Subscription video services is doing well, that's Foxtel. Dow Jones is doing well, and even their book publishing segment is doing very well. So overall, even though the revenue of the overall business went down, um, through, highly influenced by the news media, the EBITDA went up because those high profit margin segments of the company are doing very well. So going from the large cap company to a much smaller company on the ASX, this company has a market cap of 114 million, is profitable, have revenue, and is operating cash flow, and that company is Veeam. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this company do. I haven't really researched them at all. The one thing that did uh, pique my interest is when I looked at that chart, and this is the chart going back six months from August. Uh, the share price was around 50 cents, and at close of trading on Friday, the 5th of February, it finished at 88 cents. You can see on the last trading day, the share price went from 75 cents to 88 cents. What caused that increase in share price? And of course, it's gonna be some positive announcement. And that positive announcement was the financial results update. And you can see some stellar numbers here, particularly that last column, that percentage change from the previous corresponding period. When you have profit before tax increasing 483%, and albeit it was on a low base, uh, you're gonna see some positive price reaction to the, the, the stock price. So the market's gonna react quite positively to that sort of information. So all these numbers are quite good, even the revenue up 36%. That's the sort of numbers you really wanna see when you're a shareholder of a company, and that's what got the market interested in this company, and that's why there is a potential breakout in the share price of Veeam. So the next company I'll be looking at briefly is Point Terra. Now, so for full disclosure purposes, I do own this company. Now, there's no reason why the share price rose 16.67% on Friday, the 5th of February. And the only reason I could think of is just the sentiment starting to become more and more positive with this company. You can see the amount of volume too increasing quite substantially. So this is a sort of a sentiment breakout I don't like this sort of breakout as much as uh, a positive announcement breakout, which we have seen in my previous companies I've looked at in this video. And again, the market cap of this company is 422 million, not a lot of revenue and operating cash flow. So the market is forward looking when it comes to Point Terra. They're seeing a lot of potential with this company over the next five to 10 years. And that's why the market is reacting positively to this company. So the final company I'll be looking at today is GME Resources. And this is the most absurd reason why a company's share price is breaking out. And it's simply because of their ticker code. So GME Resources has a ticker code of GME. And that ticker code is identical to the GameStop ticker code in America, which is GME also. And that's the reason GME Resources share price broke out about a week ago. And do you want proof of the reason behind that breakout? Well, the company itself, GME Resources, 
use that as the reasoning behind the increase in the share price of their company. So GME Resources received an ASX price query letter from the ASX trying to understand why the share price of GME Resources went from $0.08 cents to $0.13 cents in one day on significant increase in volume. And the reasoning behind the increase in share price that the company gave was this. The company notes, recent media reports concerning trading activity in a US listed company called GameStop, which also has exchange ticket code GME, but notes this company is not related in any way to GME Resources Limited. So that's the reason why the company thinks the share price of their company was increasing at that point in time, which is absolutely absurd. So there were some people uh, buying GME Resources because they thought it was GameStop. That's ridiculous. I just can't believe that, but it happened. Anyway, it happened and we all can learn it. So hopefully you weren't one of those people who bought GME Resources because you thought it was GameStop. So that's all I've got for this video of some companies whose share price is breaking out. Hope you've enjoyed it. Now I'm doing these videos to sort of share ideas. So I'm not giving you advice because I'm not a financial advisor. If you do need some advice, make sure you seek out someone who is professional and qualified and can speak to your own financial circumstances. That's all for this video. Have a good day. See you later.